Hi there, my Jaffer friends. Hey, have I got a story for you. So, you know, many, many years ago, I got a phone call from Jan Day and she said, you know, we have someone that lives out in Yucaipa, California. And remember I was living in Pomona, California. I had just moved there. This call was from Jan Day. She had a lead for me. She said, I have a lady that needs some products. So I made this phone call and the lady ordered. And remember, this is in 1966. Okay, that's a long time ago, as you know. So she called up and she wanted about $60 worth of products. And I thought to myself, wow, that was a lot of profit in those days that I was going to make. So I packed up the car and Richard and I drove out to Yakaipa. Now that from Pomona was a long ways. We drove out to this little farmhouse and I had the sweetest lady meet me. She said, "Woohoo! we live right here. So we went in and of course we sat down and visited and she just loved the Jaffa products. She had just moved there from, I believe Mission Viejo, that area. And they had just moved out to Yakaipa and she missed her Jaffa products. So she had called the Jaffa office and she had talked to Jan Day. And so anyways, she was telling me all about the product. She told me how wonderful precious protein was and she just knew so much about the Jaffa products. And so anyways, I sat there and I thought to myself, you know, she'll probably order Jaffa several times a year. And that's a lot of money. You remember Richard and I were, you know, have this new baby and that was a lot of money to me. And I thought, wow, I'm probably going to make, you know, maybe $100 a, a year off of this lady. So anyways, I remember thinking as we left and I said goodbye, I thought to myself, you know, I probably should tell her about the Jaffa opportunity. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking, but then, you know, I wouldn't be earning this $100 a year. And so... I remember pondering that and thinking, oh, $100 a year. So anyways, I let the smart part of my brain win out. And I called her up and I told her about the Jaffa opportunity. And I said, why don't you sign up for your own account? Because you know so much about these products. Well, let me tell you, this lady happens to be the Anne Massey. And she became one of my top leaders in my downline. And I often reflect on that. What if I had settled for making a couple of hundred dollars a year rather than, I, I, don't, I can't even begin to tell you how much income Anne has represented over the years because her friendship has been far more to me than income. She's a lifelong friend. She's like a sister to me. I love her dearly. She, has, she taught me how to do the Jaffa business. So here I did, I sponsored this woman and brought her into Jaffa and she turned around and trained me on how to do the, sell the products and everything. I mean, she was a whiz at the business. Anyway, she promoted, she became a district director. She promoted, she was a big part of my lineage. But I often think to myself, what if I have settled for making a few hundred dollars versus making income that is in the, I don't, I don't know that I want to say, a, but a lot of income, okay. Let's just say a lot of friends, a lot of lineage, an amazing downline just because of one woman, Ann Massey. And I am so grateful that I let the right part of my brain, the smart part of my brain went out and I didn't settle for just a client, but I sell, settled for a leader of leaders, someone that built a massive lineage. And I'm so grateful because it's always been my motto, bring people into this company who bring people into the company, build a lineage, never settle for a just a simple client, always tell them about the Jaffa opportunity because you never know when you're going 
to bring in an Anne Massey. This is Vicki Hacking, and I hope you always settle for the best decision.